girls and guys, it is Sarah from Sarah Let's Play, and we are back with Crush on Mr. Bad Boy. And in the last episode, episode 6, Axel invited us to a party, which seems fine and dandy and great. Except for the fact that now that he's invited us to this party, it means that we're going to have to switch between Rose and Sida all at once and I have no idea how it's gonna go or how it's gonna turn out. Let's read what it says. Axel's throwing the biggest house party your town has ever seen. You must switch between Rose and your true self while romancing Axel and playing Cupid for Jackson and Dustin. Can you pull off the impossible or you will get caught in the act? Or will you get caught in the act? So I guess we're gonna have to see what happens next. Here we go. That Friday night. This is a disaster. Oh, she's confiding in Axel's best friend. Axel wants both me and Rose at his party. I can see how that could get a little bit awkward. Yeah, you think, Dustin? You think? <laughs> Sida versus Rose for the heart of Mr. Bad Boy. A battle of split personalities and epic makeovers. Oh. The shade. That's not funny, Dustin. I can't be at two places at once. I'm not another cat. Another who? It's a quantum physicist. Uh, what? <laughs> it's a quantum physics thought experiment about a hypothetical cat in a box being simultaneously dead and alive. Ugh, never mind. Okay, calm down, Sida. There's a simple solution to this problem, and it rhymes with. Telling Maxel the schmooze. <laughs> I can't tell Axel the truth. He'll hate me. He'll hate you more if you keep fooling him. I know it's liberating being Rose, but if Axel can't love the real Sida, then he's not worth it. Why is Dustin always speaking the truth? Look, I'll help you switch between Sida and Rose tonight but only if you promise me you'll tell him the truth by Monday. Don't lie, girl. What should I do? I could tell him the truth or I can think about it. You have to tell him the truth. I think the sooner you tell him the truth, the better. Fine, I'll tell him the truth by Monday. Speaking of promises, what about your promise to introduce me to Jackson? I'll invite him to the party tonight. We were supposed to hang out anyway. Great, then it's time to dress up. We're going to need to give you and Rose different enough looks to make sure no one catches on. Lucky for you, I raided my sister's closet and brought you some options. Thanks, Dustin. You're a lifesaver. First, we need to make Sida party presentable. Q, which color combination are you going to go with? Pretty in pink. That's a cute outfit. I have a shirt like that and I have jeans. A bold and blue. Ooh, I like the bold and blue. Yes, yes, this one for sure. Next up, the feisty and unpredictable rose. Ooh, girl, you slay that outfit. Whoa, that dress totally slays. See, me and Dustin were on the same wavelength. You look ridiculously gorgeous in that outfit. Which dress should I wear? Let's see the purple dress. That's cute too, but it's just very plain. Not bad. Uh, try something more glamorous. Okay, so let's go with the ultimate party dress again. <sighs> I'm gonna have to get some gems, aren't I? I mean, that dress is just beautiful. Here we go. This is the one. Great choice. You look stunning. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, is this where he lives? <laughs> That's a nice place. Don't diss my party moves. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm gonna grab a drink from the kitchen. You wanna look for Jackson? Sounds like a plan. Okay, I don't know how I feel about her outfit now. Hi, Jackson. There you are. I know like no one here. Three different people called me Bobby. Do I look like a Bobby? <laughs> Definitely not. Dang, you brought it tonight. What? Hardly. I'm serious. You look really nice. Thanks. <gasps> what if Jackson ends up liking her? It's kind of loud in here. Maybe we could go talk somewhere? Sure, in a bit. It'd be great to catch up. Catch up. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've really missed you. I was actually hoping tonight we could just, you know, be the two of us. 
We hang out by ourselves all the time. I thought it would be fun to be social tonight. Yeah, I know, but... <gasps> there is Axel, the beautiful man. Saito, you made it. Yeah, uh, thanks for the invite. And you brought Bobby? Hey, man. You're friends with Axel Spencer now? So, where's Rose? Who's Rose? She's upstairs in the bathroom. Uh, I'm gonna go find her. Yay! Ah! Oh, poop. This isn't good. Um. Oh, hey there, Saida. Who's your friend? Dustin, Jackson, Jackson, Dustin. You're both great. <laughs> Converse amongst yourselves. Gotta run. Wow, the greatest introduction ever. <laughs> Ugh. Ew. Who let you in? I was invited, actually. You are laughably unfunny. Were you just pawing at Axel Spencer? Because he's taken. Oh, really, Lily? Oh, I know, by me. So he's not going to go slumming with anyone else. Wait, they're together? I am not letting her disrespect me. Last time I checked, Axel was single. What makes you think he'd go out with someone as mean as you? Because I'm his equal in every way, and we belong together. We belong together. I guess a truce is too much to ask for then? You guessed right. And I don't know where you think you're going. The door's that way. Girl, your face is gonna get... <laughs> Whoa, Axel just took his shirt off. Where? She is so thirsty, that girl. I need to give her some water. You want some H2O, girl? <laughs> okay. Time for Rose to bring the house down. Here we go. Everyone, get ready to stop. So, do you like your classes? Sure. I'm sorry, what? What's up? You seem distracted. I'm not distracted. I'm very focused. I came here tonight ready to do something and... I need to talk to Saida. Where is she? He is going to ask Saida out. I would put money on it. Oh my gosh, if that happens, I have no idea what I'm going to do. <sighs> this is bad. This is really, really bad. Here we go. Oh. I have no idea. None. Zero. Oh, because we're... Uh, 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 what's going on? Take your shirt off. That lame girl promised. Shirt off, shirt off, shirt off. Girl, you see me real desperate now. Hey, you two. Rose, love that dress. You look amazing. Axel, this is like the only girl I like. She's my best friend. We've actually met before. A couple times. And I couldn't agree with Lila more. You look incredible in that dress. Let me show you around. Excuses, Layla. Ooh, Layla's a hater. <laughs> Welcome to the first stop on our ground tour of Casa Spencer, the grand ballroom. Impressive. What do you do here? Some booty shaking and a little twerking. <laughs> and on occasions, a little bumping and grinding. Whoa, all right, calm down. <laughs> Is that how they dance? Shall we explore, explore more private quarters? We shall. Why are you exploring more private quarters? What you trying to do? So, I heard my cousin saved you. No doubt. She dropped some wisdom on me and set me straight. I don't know where I'd be without her, but she made me realize my future's worth fighting for. She's quite something, your cousin. Oh, I know. <laughs> she caught me in a pretty dark moment. Most people would have given up on me, but not her. Where is she, by the way? I wanted us all to grab a drink together. Where's Saida? <laughs> um, well, that's a good question. She's uh, probably... Oh, oh uh, that's my phone. SOS, Dustin. Oh no, speaking of Saida, um, she needs my help. Some kind of wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> she keeps having those. Uh, be right back. Um, okay. Yeah, this isn't good. What's wrong? What's going on? Where's Jackson? He went to find you. He seemed really intense about it. What? Why? I mean, you guys have been friends forever, so I'm sure he's not suddenly in love or anything, but he seemed pretty fixated. 
Maybe, but he's no use to me until he gets whatever's on that sculpted chest of his off of it, off of his chest. <laughs> Can you change back to Sida and deal with him? Dustin, come on. I've had your back. You're right. I'll talk to Jackson. Gosh, that's a lot of work to be two people. Here we go. I'm sure Dustin's wrong. Jackson and I have been friends for years. He couldn't possibly have feelings for me. Right? Hmm. Girl, I think he does with those flip-flops he's wearing. There you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. I walked in on some things I will never unsee. I've been around just meeting some people, you know? <laughs> I do not know. We hate people who aren't us. Not all of them. Speaking of which... Oh. Dustin and I became friends recently. He's great. Yeah, we met before. He was just telling me how much he loved you in the last year's musical. Really? You were amazing. If there were Oscars for high school theater, you'd win for sure. Stop it. By which I mean definitely keep going. <laughs> hey Jax, isn't there an understudy role for your part in this semester's play still open? You should ask Dustin. I'd love to try out. I mean, try out for, for you. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. Are you familiar with Fiddler on the Roof? I hang out on my roof all the time. <laughs> what fun! Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye! Uh, it's only a matter of time. Is she just gonna walk out topless? <laughs> okay, got my wig, lipstick, contacts, and you forgot your shirt. Look at me. I'm a rose. Oh no, someone stole my dress. How does someone just steal someone's dress like that? What kind of monster are you? I am gonna yell at her. Hey, that's my dress, give it back. Only if you catch me. What? Ugh. Go run after her. You better snatch her weave. I'm just kidding. <gasps> um, hey, I was just looking for you. I like the new look. Uh, uh, I'm protesting. Why should women be bound to wear clothes simply because the male gaze can't handle our beauty? I'm happy to handle any and all of your beauty, but I'm getting a little tired of sharing. Shall we move this party to my room? Uh, no? We shouldn't. Okay, she didn't even listen to me. So, this is the inner layer of Axel Spencer? Is it everything you were expecting? Well, there's less motorcycle parts and grease than I imagined. Honestly, it looks like you haven't redecorated since middle school. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> Look, Rose, I know we just met, but I want you to know that this isn't just another fling for me. So if you want to crash here tonight, no pressure. We can just fall asleep. No need to do anything else if you don't want to. Mm, I don't agree with any of this, but a little cuddling goes a long way. Whoa! All right, already kissing? Calm down, you two. Before we call it a night, I'm going to get you some water and Advil so you don't hate yourself in the morning. My knight in shining armor. <laughs> but she needs to switch back to Sida. Oh my gosh. I'm in Axel Storm Spencer's bedroom. The layer of Mr. Bad Boy. This is the dictionary definition of amazing. Ah! <laughs> and I'm living a complete lie. Hey. Oh. Matt, what are you doing here? Hello, Rose. I know your secrets, and I want to know how far you're willing to go to keep it. What? Okay, I haven't read two episodes back to back in a while, but I think we have to, because why is he threatening us, and how the heck did he find out? So it says, an unexpected enemy knows your secret and is willing to expose you to the world. Will you risk everything to keep your fantasy alive? Or is it time to come clean to Mr. Bad Boy? Hmm. Did you really think you could keep it a secret? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I can't believe you had us all fooled. But I guess most people just see what they want to see. No, this can't be happening. I get why you did it. But what I don't get is, why Axel? The kid's a loser. You deserve someone who's going places. Leave me alone. I know you go to my school. I wonder who you could be. You don't know what you're talking about. Do I? Is he gonna snatch her weave? What would your new boyfriend think if he found out you were lying to him? 
What do you want? That is the question, isn't it? Sighed Sarah. I was going to offer Rose a drink when I saw her vanish into the bathroom, only for a cute little nerd to scamper out instead. Matt, please don't. Hey, you want to keep playing your little fantasy? Then you and I are going to make an arrangement. No. What do you say, Rose? I say you can go stuff yourself. Oh! Bad move, Rose. You're going to pay for that. Hey! Is he about to find out? What the heck are you doing here? Maybe you should ask Rose. If that's her real name. Get out of my house. I won't ask you again. Ooh. Or you'll what? Oh! You either leave on your feet now, or I break what's left of your face. Okay, it's getting real intense now. Remember what I said, Rose. Actions have consequences, and Monday's gonna be a not a nice thing to happen on Monday. Are you alright? What was he talking about? Nothing. Right now would be a perfect opportunity for you to tell him the truth. He just wanted something that I couldn't give him. That jerk. I'm gonna kill him. No. <sighs> I can handle him on my own. Okay, if that's what you really want. But you know, you can tell me anything, right? I won't judge. I know, I just... I had such a good time tonight. I don't want it to end like this. It won't. We're gonna end this night right. Just give me a minute to make sure that creep is gone. Yeah, sure. Oh, I almost forgot. I bought you a present. Something to make tonight even more special. I couldn't stop thinking of you when I saw it. It's in my closet. I hope to see you wearing it when I get back. I think you'd look great in it. What do you buy her? I hope it's in clothes because she needs it. A present to make tonight special? I wonder what it could be. Let's go find out. I'm kind of worried. <laughs> oh. It's PJs. <laughs> She's like, this nightgown is so cute. I can't wait to see Axel's face when he sees me in this. It's literally just shorts and a tank top. Whoa. <laughs> you look great. If this is what my last night on earth, this is exactly how I want it to end. You, me, and that nightgown. Corny, but I'll take it. Please tell me you're going to wear it. If this is my last night as Rose, I need to make it memorable. I don't agree with her staying the night there. I think it's too soon. They just met. So I'm going to call it a night and go home. Thanks for the present, Axel. But it's getting pretty late. I better head back before my stepmom bites my head off. Plus, she needs to figure out this whole Rose and side of thing. Okay, Rose. Look. About what Matt said back there. Yeah? There's something I need to tell you. Something important. I just can't do it now. That sounds ominous. I'll have Sida get in touch with you before Monday. And then we can talk about what happens next. Alright, I guess. I'll talk to you then. So she is going to tell him the truth. Early that morning. She's sneaking back in through the window. Oh. Wait, no. This is... Alright, homegirl. <laughs> Time for you to return what's mine. What's she gonna do? She stole her dress back. <laughs> okay. So she's back home now. Oh. Where have you been? I, um... High heels, makeup all over your face? What in the world have you gotten into? Cleo, just listen to... This is a walk of shame and you should be nothing but ashamed. Oh, no, girl. You will not disrespect me. And you are not my mom. You can't talk to me this way. I wish my father had never met you. Believe me, if I'd known he came with this much baggage, I would have run for the hills. She did not just say that. That's like the worst thing you could say to a kid. That is so rude. I hope. Ooh, she just. Ooh, well, this is not the answer. 
Why can't you just stay out of my life? Because you need to learn respect. I'm never going to respect you. You were grounded and you stayed out all night. So you'll never see that night sky again. School, home, that's it. So, what? I can't go to an orchestra? I can't volunteer at the shelter anymore? Orchestra is for good girls. Volunteering has to be earned. This is insane. It's so unfair. Now go wash your face and then straight to bed. Oh, but Mrs. Sarah, this is actually all my fault. Jackson, what are you doing here? Sorry, door was unlocked and I was looking for Sida, so I let myself in. Sida is such a good friend and such a good student. Of course, I went to her first when I found out I was failing drama. I thought you were all theatrical. You're a very loud person. Not since I found out I was losing my vocal cords. When I found out from the doctors I wouldn't be able to sing in six months, well, it also crushed my soul. Wow, Jackson is selling this. He's the best actor I've ever seen. Your voice sounds fine. I'm very resilient, physically. Theatrically, not so much, which is where Sida came in. Really? Sida offered to help me with my scene in Less Miss. And you know what? Musical has plenty of harlots. I don't care for musicals, so I don't, but I can imagine. Sida was helping me get into character, and then we worked for so long we fell asleep. Sida, is this what happened? Yeah, definitely. You know, Sida, she worked so hard, and she went. She she wants her fellow students to succeed. It must be nice having a child psychologist in the house. <laughs> I was always suspected I was a good influence. So is she still grounded? I suppose I shouldn't deprive students at your extra of your extracurricular of good examples. Thank you, Cleo. Now go wash your face and make sure Jackson has his scene perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Jackson. Thank you so much, Jackson. You totally saved me. You're the best friend ever. Then why have you been lying to me? What do you mean? Dressing up as two people? Rose? Did you really want to disappear that much? Just tell him the truth. It just got out of hand. Did it? I think you pushed it along. What was I supposed to do? Rose is like me, but more free. No, no, no. Sida is great. Rose is just a crutch. She's fake in more than just the obvious way. Rose is the real me, the brave me. Brave would be go being yourself. The real me would, would never ever have gone to that dance or that party. The real you never needed those things to be happy. The real me never took any risks and was too afraid to follow her feelings. And now Axel and Rose are practically in love. He and Rose, huh? Do you realize how crazy that sounds? Love is crazy. Didn't any of your precious plays teach you that? Why can't you be supportive? Because I know you and I know you're making a big mistake. See you, Rose. He got real sassy there, but I understand. Maybe you just can't stand that I'm in the spotlight for once. Oh no, she didn't. Don't be disrespecting Jackson. <gasps> Axel? Huh? Rose never mentioned that you were the family she was staying with, but I guess it makes sense. Hey man, cool party. Great to see you. Now please leave. You're not a very good hostess. Aren't you going to offer me some cocoa, biscuits, a little something might be nice? I would love to offer you any and all of those things, but my stepmother is on the warpath. I can take her. I'm sure you can, but I can't. And I am most certainly not allowed to have boys in my room. Most certainly? Who am I? Ugh, loser. Rose snuck out this morning. We had an amazing night, and now she's gone. Again. Listen, I have a lot of homework. I can't really talk about Rose right now, so if... Totally. I'll get out of your hair as soon as you tell me where to find Rose. I think she wanted to tell me something important, and I need to know what. Where to find Rose? Until I know the truth, I'm not going anywhere. Tell him the truth. You need to tell him the truth. So what does the next one say? With your secret about to be revealed, it's finally time to get Axel to fall for the real you. You come up with a plan to romance him before Matt exposes you while Dustin does his best to woo Jackson. All right, so that is the end of episode 
seven and eight. So my predictions is Jackson actually likes Saida. That's what I think. And I think Axel's gonna fall in love with the real her, but then she's gonna be stuck between choosing Jackson or Axel. And I don't know. I feel like she should just tell him the truth. The sooner, the better. Let me know in the comments what you think. Are you team tell him the truth or team keep lying to him a little bit longer? I think the sooner the better because the longer you lie, the more trouble you're going to get yourself into. And that's exactly what she is doing right now. And it's like everyone keeps reiterating to her that she doesn't need to be roast to be herself, but she just doesn't seem to get it. So we'll have to wait and see what happens next. But anyway, you guys, I hope you guys had fun watching. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and share. And I will see you in the next episode of Crush on Mr. Bad Boy or Married by Law. Bye!